I found this at Target uh, this week. We'll get to that barcode in just a bit. But we have Jeff Bridges again. We just uh, reviewed Fortnite's Jeff Bridges figure, the dude. And uh, here he is without any hair. All right, very good. This is the Infinity Saga. We got Iron Monger and Obadiah Stane. Looking forward to that. Let's get you that barcode. So you can use this barcode, take it to any Target, bother an employee. Have them look up where it is in their store or another store. On the back of the box here, yeah, pretty stylish here. Let's see, Obadiah Stane, after a long stint as second in command of Stark Industries, Stane is eager to exact revenge on Tony Stark. Something like that. It's early, I'm having my coffee. Ironmonger. Obadiah Stane suits up as the powerful Ironmonger to threaten Iron Man. There you go. Pretty cool. I like, uh, uh, yeah, on the Infinity Saga uh, art, they've got uh, some images here. We never really got this Hulk in Marvel Legends. I'm looking for things they might come out with. Yeah, that's probably about it. All right, well, with that, let's get cracking. All right, everything is on the table here, and Iron Monger is huge. He's about nine inches, and he is taller than all. Uh, the bigger figures we do have on the table. Let's start with the accessories, get that stuff out of the way. You're going to get a briefcase here, and I was hoping something would be inside the briefcase, but no, it's kind of boring. That sucks. You get one blast effect. I thought that was pretty uh, lame, but really there truly is only one gun, and we're going to take a look at it. You're going to get like some bullets that are going to come out of his uh, machine gun on his arm. That's pretty cool. I like how they look like they're falling there. That is neat. You're gonna get uh, Tony Stark's heart. I think that is new. Take a look at that there, hard to focus. The string back there. So Tony Stark's heart, I like that. Uh, there will be this little extra piece. It's a uh, missile launcher. Uh, when you uh, pull out the big Ironmonger figure, you're gonna have to clip this on the back like that. Uh, you're going to get two, actually, he, the fists are going to come on the Ironmonger. I took them off already. I kind of want him, he's got these uh, reaching out, grabbing hands, so I swapped these out. All right, let's take a look at Obadiah Stane here, because at first I thought, well, it's another dude in the same suit that we've seen before, uh, but that's not so. It is a new suit. Let's take a look at the likeness. We have Jeff Bridges here without any hair. Jeff Bridges with hair, Jeff Bridges without hair. And I think they nailed it. That is great. One of the best, one of the best likenesses. Got the suit, got the tie here. We'll take a look at some differences here. We got a ring on his finger. Pretty cool ring. I wonder what the significance of the ring is. Pretty cool. I had a hard time with the hinges here. I had to use the hair dryer, uh, the swivels and the uh, feet. But there you go. So I thought this was the suit until I compared like the suit we've seen before, and then I compared him, and I'm like, whoa, no, he's taller, and the legs are different. Look at the bottom part of the leg, a different sculpt, and as we work our way up, uh, the upper leg is a different sculpt, you can tell by the folds, which gives uh, him a taller build uh, than the suits, let's see here, than the suits we got in the past. So very cool. As far as articulation, you know what you're getting here. Uh, it's a dude in the suit, but I love this guy. I'm very happy to have him. All right, let's take a closer look at Iron Monger. Before we do, I wanted to show you the heart doesn't go in the briefcase. That's kind of lame. Kind of lame there. I don't know why we got the briefcase. All right, uh, wow, first thing I'm seeing is this guy is awesome. I like, it's like a clear plastic uh, shell or case over the heart. Uh, that is really cool. I like that little touch, a little shine on there. See, that's pretty cool. Uh, you do clip the missile on his back right there. It clips on one of these little bars. He's got all these little bars. Very, very cool. I think the arms are very special here. We got the bullets flying out. We got the, you know, some bullets going in, bullets coming out. There's the blast effect. Very nice. I put the fist back on there. Uh, and these are those gripping hands I told you about. And I'm going to keep it on this one. It's got a hinge, and you can rotate it just by the peg. 
So yeah, nice articulation. Those, uh, those pegs are a little thinner, be careful. And on the other arm, we have like a missile launcher with some nice paint on the tips. We've got red and yellow. It's very, very cool. The back of there. These have like a shinier paint on his uh, bicep area. We have some nice sculpting that looks like metal along his chest and that head. Yeah, very clean on the white eyes. I like that. They did a really nice job. So he basically left and right, up and down. Yeah, a little bit. I do wish that they, uh, maybe, is this guy, I don't know, he's close. I think he's probably a little bit bigger in a movie. What do you guys think? I mean, standing, we got him basically there. Because I think it would be cool to have a version with his head popping out like it did in the movie. But I think you'd have to make him a little bit bigger. I don't know. Just nitpicking. Uh, inside his thighs, it's like a different silver. It's more like the bicep. And that goes down into the knee joint there. And maybe this area here in his feet. Just a just wild figure. A lot going on here. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of intimidating to go over the articulation. Uh, but I will in just a moment. So hang tight. Really nice effect there with the holes. Those are real holes. This guy is one of the best. I think if you're collecting the movie Marvel Legends... Uh, this guy is a guy you're going to have to get. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look at the articulation. All right, let's get to some articulation, but I almost forgot to show you guys, uh, the smoke effect, a little smoke effect there. I almost threw it out. You can put the hole there. It comes out of the barrel of the gun. looks really, really cool. Now this guy is a tricky thing to articulate. Uh, the head up, the down, that's all you get side to side. These arms, you got to look for things, some rotation there, but you don't want to rotate the arm all the way around because you're gonna pull this rod, you know, out of this little hole here. These are like, what, pistons? See, this one is together nicely. And if you rotate this arm around, it's gonna pull out of there. And that's gonna be a problem. These, you're safe here, okay, but, but not there, okay? It is actually like sort of, but it wants to bend, see? So you really can't raise the arm too much. You are gonna get bicep swivel. Uh, single hinge on the elbow there, rotation because of the peg and a hinge at the wrist. And we have sort of like a, uh, a ball rotation in his waist, which acts as the ab crunch, okay? And the waist swivel, so that's pretty good. Upper thigh cut, single joint in the knees, and we do have ankle rocker and uh, the hinge at the ankle, that's very good. I wanna know, does Iron Monger do the splits? No, he does not. How about sideways splits? <laughs> Boom, my man. All right, what do I think about the new Obadiah Stain Iron Monger 2 pack in the Infinity Saga line of Marvel Legends figures? I love it, it's in my top five for sure, easily, no doubts about it. If you're collecting these, if you've collected any movie figures, you need this set. I'm talking to you, Louie. You hear me? Uh, this set is amazing, it's at Target now, so keep your eyes peeled. Uh, all right, well, leave a comment. You guys picking this up? What do you guys think about this figure? Leave a comment, smash that like button. If you're new here, if you're just stopping by, hey, consider sticking around, you know, maybe subscribing, checking out all the stuff I cover. Everybody have a great day, a great month, a great week. And as always, I will see you on the new.